My name is Tim Dake, and I am a member of the Wisconsin Grand Sons of Liberty. We are one of the many groups that are helping the Sheboygan Liberty Coalition today to put on this event. Many of the groups in the state have begun to work together to host these types of events. There are more than 60 groups in the state, not just Tea Party groups and 912 groups, but also pro-Constitution groups, pro-liberty, taxpayer groups, Second Amendment groups, First Amendment groups. We've all realized we need to work together. The problem that we're facing, the assault on our Constitution, both federal and state, is so heinous, we have to step up and do something. Like you, like you, we're frustrated. Like you, we're angry. Like you, we cannot just sit and watch the TV anymore and wonder what has happened to our form of government. How has it gotten this bad? After a lot of discussion, a lot of thinking, we realized protest isn't enough anymore. Washington doesn't listen to us. We have to find another way. We've decided to move beyond protest and to become activists in every sense of the word. We have to make sure that our federal and state legislatures understand how we feel, that they hear us clearly. And the best way that we could think of to do that was to become engaged and take part in the very government that we protest. We began looking for things that we could do as citizens, not as legislators, not as lawyers, but just as the average citizen, like all of you. There must be something we could do. We did not believe that the founders of our republic and the framers of our constitution would have left us defenseless against a government that acts out of control and oppressively towards us and treats us as if we were some form of domestic enemy. we began to look and see what other states were doing. And the first thing that we all agreed to do was to tackle the biggest issue that has been irritating this nation, and particularly Wisconsin, all summer long, health care. We found, and as of October, 24 states had begun to amend their state constitutions to protect our right to choice in health care and to not be forced into a government-run system. We said it's time for Wisconsin to say, me too. We looked at the legislation from the other states, found that the wording was actually very simple. We drafted a proposed amendment and began to look for help within our state legislature to get this done. Now, if we back up a year, how many people were in Madison April 15th for the tax day protest? Quite a few hands. I was there. And at that time, I felt like many other people. Everybody in that building is a crook and ought to be thrown out. Every one of them. Let's get rid of them all. But in the last year, we've learned a lesson. Just like there are in this crowd, patriots who love their nation and their state, there are people in our legislature who feel the way we do and are willing to work with us, willing to help, willing to fight for us. Unfortunately, they're very outnumbered and they need our help. So we took this piece of legislation and began looking for someone to help us. And all of the groups in the coalition took it upon themselves to find someone in our legislature who would help us. And the Sheboygan Liberty Coalition was able to find someone to help us get this legislation introduced and with all of your help, we can get it passed. And to I'd like to introduce that legislator who has stepped up to help us, stepped up to fight with us. And that is State Senator Joe Leibom. Well, good morning, everyone. It's great to be with you here today at this constitutional rally. And you know, it may, it may be a little chilly in this vacant store, but without a doubt, our passion for our country and for our Constitution is hot. And it is substantive and it's full because we believe in America and in the great freedoms and liberty that have been protected for us and brought to us for generations and generations in this great land. As Tim mentioned, 
As Tim mentioned, I'm Joe Lipom, and I'm here as two persons. First, as a fellow citizen. I'm so excited to stand before you as a citizen who, like you, believes we need to take back our government and to tell our government at all levels that it's we, the people of this community, of this state, and of this nation that make up this government. And we are what the government of the United States is all about. So I'm proud to be with you in joining in this effort. For the 12 years that I've been in the legislature, I have to tell you that some days you're frustrated because you wonder, where are the people? Where are the citizens? As we're watching bit by bit, day by day, our basic freedoms being eroded. And I've been so excited over the past year how people are gathering together and coming together to say, you know what? We're going to fight back and we're going to take back this government that's ours. I'm also really proud to stand before you as a legislator who respects our Constitution and who believes in our Constitution. And this is something that I've you know, believed in and fought for throughout my entire legislative career and, again, as a citizen of this state and this nation. I want to talk with you just briefly about two things that we're working on. And we handed out a blue or a yellow sheet for you today to give you that information. The first issue is in regard to the Tenth Amendment Sovereignty Resolution. This is. This is an effort that I've been working on for years now. I believe that the federal government, through its unfunded mandates and through its encroachment on our rights as a state and as individuals, is out of line. And it needs to be brought under control. And so well before there were the rallies and the enthusiasm that we're seeing here today, myself and just a couple of other legislators, unfortunately, but a lot of good citizens have said, let's do a resolution telling our federal government to protect our rights as a state, and we are working to advance a resolution on the 10th Amendment sovereignty. And I need your help in that regard, because right now, we can't even get the people in charge of the Capitol to allow a hearing on this resolution. I think they're afraid of what they'd hear, and they're not allowing the bill to even be heard, and you can help by contacting the leadership in the Capitol and say, you know what, listen to the people or at least allow us the chance to be heard by scheduling a hearing on the Tenth Amendment resolution. And then the second and more important and I guess direct issue that we're focusing on today is the issue that Tim mentioned. And I'm so excited to work with the Grandsons of Liberty on this effort. And it deals with that little issue about health care. And you know, the federal government has decided that they know what's in our best interest when it comes to our health care decisions and our health insurance needs. And again, I think they're wrong. I think that we as free citizens, as good responsible people, can and will make better decisions regarding our health care and our health insurance needs, far better than what Barack Obama or anybody out in the federal government are going to do. But I didn't want that just to be that this is Joe Lipom feeling this way. I think that we, the people of Wisconsin, can send a message through the proposed Health Care Freedom Amendment. And what this amendment would do is it would amend our state constitution, the guiding document of who we are as citizens of this nation, and it would say that our government is not going to dictate or mandate to us what type of health care or health insurance or what type of decisions we're going to make regarding our health care. We as individuals free can make those decisions on our own. And it's a constitutional amendment, so what that means is it has to make its way through two consecutive sessions of the legislature, and then it would come to us as citizens of this great, great state, and we would vote in a referendum on our ballot, and we would decide if we want this language included in our Constitution. It's a serious issue. It's an issue that needs to be debated. And again, right now, we're struggling to get the leadership at the Capitol to be even willing to have a discussion on this proposed amendment. Your first course of action today, if you haven't already, contact your legislator and ask them to support the Health Care Freedom Amendment. And then pay attention and work with us as we work again to get a hearing on this important constitutional issue. We deserve it. Again, our government is us. And our government should be listening to us, and they're not. And this is a... This is an important issue that we need to kind of set a, bunch, a benchmark on. Without a doubt, there are improvements that have to be made to the health care delivery and access and cost of health care. But they should not trample on our individual rights as free citizens to make decisions on our own. And that's what this fight is about. That's why you're here today. And that's why I'm proud to stand before you as your fellow citizen and as a senator in the state legislature. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.